My name is Kate Crane from North of England in the United Kingdom. Another video for Gel Press for you today. Now today I'm going to show you how I do my um, kind of vintage retro polka dot technique using a stencil. I'm going to pull off lots of prints from the same beginning because then you end up with these coordinating prints that are all quite different even though it all has the same beginning and also I'm working on my largest gel plate, my 12 by 14 because around the edge what will happen is a lot of extra paint builds up and by pulling this off, this is often the best bit, all those layers that get pulled off from around the edge and that also coordinates with everything that you've already done. We also did a greens and blues version as you can see here, so a completely different colourway and this is really pulling up every last scrap of the gel plate. Now I think every print has an interesting bit. There's always something that you can pull out and use. Now because it is December, Happy Christmas, we're going to do some Christmas cards using the prints and also these simple but whimsical fun little tags. I've mounted these on mount board so these could be a decoration, they could go on a gift, you could even send them in place of a card. To create my vintage polka dot effect I'm starting with this stencil by Carabelle Studio and some regular white acrylic paint and I'm removing the stencil and then I'm just going to let that dry a little bit before I go on with my next layer. Now that these polka dots are touch dry I'm just going to add some more colours on the top. So I've just added a bit directly onto the plate. Now I'm going to spread that round as a top layer. Now I'm going to take my first print. And another print now, so same again. So now that this is touch dry, I'm going to add things this time in layers. So I'm adding some ruby to start with. Now next layer, a bit of cheddar and another layer, a bit of magenta. Another layer, this time I'm going to add some lemon. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more ruby just to keep building up these layers. Now as a final layer I'm going to put a very thin layer of buff on the top. Now there's still quite a bit of paint left on here, so what I'm going to try now is lifting it with a different colour. So I'm going on with a turquoise. Mm -hmm. 